So hey guys, welcome back to another episode video by Slitstream and today I'm going to show you guys an updated way on how to make a livery on your mobile phone for Real Flight Simulator. So first of all, you have to make sure you have an active RFS Pro account. If you don't have an active uh, account, a Pro account, you will not be able to make a livery. So right here is an example of a Concordia Republic government livery that I've made on the Boeing 737 MAX 8 before, which I uploaded like two years ago. And uh, I know the video is kind of updated now, the interface and everything is a bit different. So here is an update video on how to make a livery. So right here we got the Canada uh, Regional Jet 900. We will be making a livery on this one this time. And... Uh, you create livery and go to this website right here to download the livery template that you will need. So on the website, you're gonna scroll down here. And you see this download zip file. It's gonna be PSD type of file, zip file. And uh, we're gonna choose CRJ900. There you go, Bombardier. Okay, we're gonna download that one. You will need this template as it is important for you to make delivery. Now, right now, you're gonna go to photop.com, which is where you're going to save the pictures, uh, layers, and it's gonna get a, li a little bit tricky right here. So, you guys, I will need you guys to pay attention. So, first of all, you're gonna click open, and you will have to search for the zip file right here, CRJ900 livery gonna click on that it's gonna take a bit time there you go now it's loading and you just wait for them to load now I'm gonna flip the screen orientation so don't get confused you have to make sure the auto select and everything is on layer and not folder there you go okay now I will need you guys to go to layer so uh, you will have to wait a little bit for the thing to load Okay, there you go so now uh you can save just any about anything for first step which is gonna be your reference layer so you know what you're drawing and whatsoever what is this part what is that part so this reference layer is still important so to save the picture as a png you just click on export as and click png now this thing is going to pop up make sure the quality is on 100 percent and make sure the picture is 4096 png format and click save download and that's all that's the first image now let's move on to the second one which is the most important one you have to turn off every every layer except for final livery like that okay and you're gonna have to export is as PNG2, like the first reference image, but this one is delivery. And there you go. Make sure it's, the quality is on 100%. Save, download. That's all. You're finished with the second part. Now, this is the third part, which is a bit tricky. You're gonna have to load the picture right here on any drawing software. And when you loaded the picture inside, this is the pixel the small pixel that you should not cover if you cover that up the picture is not going to load your livery is not going to load so uh, make sure the resolution everything on 4096 for height and uh, white width and uh, now yeah you can pretty much start drawing you can just use any just about any uh, software to draw uh, apps and stuff but I prefer using IBS Paint X but uh yeah, right here, you're gonna load those two pictures that you have saved as PNG, which is the final livery and also the reference layer. And you have to make sure you draw on a different layer than the final livery. I'm gonna name this reference. There you go. And uh, you can now start getting creative with your livery. Just do about anything you want. Just how your virtual airline you want to look uh, you want how it looks like and stuff uh, All right, let me think of something real quick. I'm gonna make a simple albino livery Okay, that took me a short bit of drawing this uh, livery uh, Hold on. Let me try to turn off the reference 
layer so you guys can see how it looks like i did not draw on the final livery layer and i did not cover the small dots you see at the corner it will look like this this is the albino livery and once i finish i'm going to save the picture save the picture as transparent png it will still be defaulted to white background so uh, you, you shouldn't be worried much about that and there you go now let's go back to the crj 900 like right here gonna click livery create livery and import the picture there it is the picture and there it loaded so right here you're gonna have to do some checklist and uh, as you can see the text is a little bit stretched out i will have to try to fix that so i have fixed the text issues and oh my god there you go that's the livery that i want to look at so uh, that's pretty much how you make delivery for um, your own virtual airlines or whatsoever you want to do on real flight simulator it's pretty much still the same step just different interface and i want to make a little bit clearer video as the previous video a lot of people complain that it's not that clear and stuff so um yeah and we're gonna upload this picture and we're gonna go with virtual uh, I've made all the checklist and we're gonna name it as so uh fly concordia albino okay there you go and once you have done this you go with upload pretty much just how it works and the picture will start uploading and uh once it has uh finish uploading you're gonna have to wait for a bit like maybe three business days for them to approve and uh once they have approved it will appear on deliveries and you can finally fly with it and that's pretty much how you make a livery on your mobile phone for real flight simulator so uh, a lot of people requested me to do specific liveries and stuff my answer is that i can i have no much dedication to put a lot of time into doing that other than that um, i hope this video is much clearer for you guys to understand how to do this because i'm sorry for my bad english like back then and stuff but uh, yeah i have improved a lot and uh, that's pretty much it well thanks for watching this video feel free to subscribe or like see the stream and i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye